Might be a Watson shirt, honestly. What's up, Staley? Welcome to another week of Varsity View. Today, we are here with boys wrestling coach, Coach Lawrenson and Merrick Murray. All right, our first question is for Coach Lawrenson. How does your coaching uh, of football translate into your coaching of wrestling? How do those connect for you? <clears throat> um, so, like, the big thing is I coach uh, big human beings in football and in wrestling, so I coach linemen. Um, and so I think able to connect the idea that, like, people view those as two completely different sports. Um, it, instead, you're reframing as, like, they are two different sports, but they're very similar movements. They're mm -hmm. very similar um, uh, physical concepts of, of controlling things inside. And so being able to use the same lingo that we use in football for wrestling and vice versa, I think makes it feel less scary and new for kids that they can be like, oh, I'm doing something I did all fall. It's just now I'm doing it in a different way, in a different place. Mm -hmm. So, Merrick, how would you describe the team dynamic? Oh, um, we're just kind of a family. Like, we all are always together. If we're not together, then we're always texting. Like, a couple of us have a fantasy football league, and there's a couple others that have another fantasy football league. Um, we'll go out to eat. We're always talking to each other. We mess with each other like we're all brothers. It's just all kind of one family. Uh, another question from Merrick. Can you walk me through what a normal practice looks like? Oh, yes. Um, so we kind of start off with uh, stance motion, which is just kind of you get in your normal stance. You just kind of move around uh, shadow drill. Um, mm -hmm. And then you kind of go into drilling with the partner a little bit. And then um, you can either have instruction and or you can go into like sparring, mm -hmm. which is like a very, very light live. Mm -hmm. Um, and then some days you go live, some days you don't, and then also some days you got to run, some days you don't. So yep. it just kind of depends on the day. Coach Lawrence, what are some of the team traditions? Team traditions? I might need Merrick's help with this one. Um, I can't – team traditions? Can you think of a team tradition? Uh, I know an old ball. one that I want to get back to is uh, for away duels, uh, dressing up. Dressing up super nice and clean. Um, if you got a suit, wear a suit. If not, wear a button up, some slacks, uh, looking nice. We play handball every year, and it's just like a fun little warm up. So I guess you could kind of call that one a tradition. Um, there is like the turkey trot. So like uh, Thanksgiving, because obviously Thanksgiving can be a tough time for some wrestlers um, that are watching what they eat a little bit, and so they do a, t a turkey trot at Staley. Um, they'll run the cross country course, and that's really cool. Coach Bears leads a group of guys. Um, I shockingly, I'm not a big cardio guy, so I don't run that. But a lot of the guys do that, and that's pretty cool. Um, and then I don't know if you'd call this a tradition, but something I feel like is a tradition that like every program wants to have that we're very fortunate to have is uh, we have a really good group of guys, older guys that are very willing and like they're not just willing to do it; they intentionally go out of their way to go help the young guys. Um, when you see us in competitions at duels, you always see our older guys grabbing young guys after they come off the mat, talking to them, telling them things. And so that's not technically like a tradition, but it is. I think it's like a big part of our culture that's been handed down from like a lot of these guys that are older guys had an older guy that did that to them. So when you have as a program a group of guys that think this is what I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to look out for the younger guys, that's really cool. And, and I think we have a good big and small middle, like all of our guys I think do a really good job of that. And that's always fun to see. All right, another one for Coach Lawrenson. What would you say is the most rewarding thing about being a coach? Rewarding thing? Um, or your favorite thing, either one. It's, I'm, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to give two answers. Okay. Like, one from just the pure coaching side is I, the most rewarding thing is, like, whether someone is a 1 out of 10 skill-wise or they're a 6 out of 10, when you watch a kid that you've been working with and you see them kind of level up, so to speak, of, like, hey, that one kid is now a 4. Which, like, in the grand scheme of things, he's not the best at the sport, but he's gotten so much better. Or you see something you've drilled with somebody, and then you see it show up in a match. That is super exciting because you're like, hey, I like, I am helping them move towards something they want, and you can see that progress. And wrestling is such a personal sport. That's why it's so fun to watch. Like, kids take it really hard when they lose. And then my second part is like, I get texts still from kids that I coached eight years ago, seven years ago. Um, I get phone calls. I have a couple who still come over to my house and have dinner. And so, like, relationally, you just you get to know people. Teaching is awesome, and I love teaching. Um, but with coaching, you spend so much more time outside of school, and you get a little bit closer relationships than you do in teaching, and that's really fun and rewarding. Merrick, what's your end goal? Oh, my end goal. 
pretty much go to college, get a degree. Um, wrestling is just kind of add on. Uh, it's just something fun I do, not something that makes me. So um, wrestling is just kind of the fun part. Uh, obviously, I want to go be a national champ uh, at the Division Two school I'm going to. Like that, that would be amazing. But it's just more about having a bunch of fun while I'm there. Uh, Coach Lawrence and, and Merrick, both of you can answer this one. Uh, what is some advice you would give a young wrestler? Don't quit. Don't quit. Seriously, like it's really, really hard. But it's it, it's a really big risk, but the reward's much bigger. Yeah, um, I think uh, like uh, don't quit, and like part of it is like we would we view it too much. I think we view wrestling too much as a sport. Sometimes you guys have both heard me say this a lot: is it's a martial art. Um, and like if you look at UFC and all the things that's dominated by wrestlers. So like if you told a kid, hey, you're going to become a black belt in karate in three months, they would be like, there's no way I could do that. That's impossible. But then kids get really frustrated when they're not good at wrestling in two, three months when you're learning a martial art. Like it is, a, it's, a, it's a sport we do at school, but it is something that takes time and patience and upfront, you'll want to quit because you're like, I'm not good at this. Like I love football. I played football. I coach football. But like if you're big and strong, you can figure out football pretty quick. You can be big and strong and not figure out wrestling very quick. It's just very hard. And so I would encourage young guys just be patient with yourself and realize you're learning a martial art that takes you a lot of time and energy to learn. So. All right. Last question for both of you. What's your favorite Little Debbie snack? Oh, that one's tough. I got like 10 of them. Uh, either Ding Dongs or Cupcakes. Ding dongs, really? Oh, I love ding dongs. I respect you, but that's tough. Um, I would have to go with all the time. I don't think you can go wrong with a cosmic brownie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you seasonal, go. you give me that Christmas tree cake. Yeah. Oh, like right now, the Lawrence and House has many Christmas tree cakes. I agree. Lots of them. I didn't think about seasonal. I'd agree with that. The fall cakes are good too. Sorry, mm-hmm. I'm a big man. I'm and the Z cakes. Well, all right. Thanks for watching. That's been Varsity View for this week.